If you want to see how to build a pit base in seven days to die that can give you results like this and like this, then that's exactly what you're going to get when you watch this video. Now, before we get started, if you like the video, if you like the concept, then do just give it a thumbs up in YouTube. And if you're new to the channel, then remember to subscribe also if you want to see more videos like this in the future. For now though, let's get on with showing you how to build this awesome and incredibly fun base. So you can expand what I'm showing you here and make it longer or just generally bigger. But I figured that 10 by 10 blocks is a good footprint for the main pit. So I'm just going to get that mapped out now. Okay, so that's looking good. It's a 10 by 10 platform to uh, start building our pit. So we'll just go up for now with uh, three blocks high around the entire thing. Okay, so that's looking good. Next, we'll go another three blocks, but not around the whole edge. So we'll go from here go three high this side will go three high and then in the middle so we've got one two three four blocks in the middle so we're leaving out three each side either side of that middle four so we'll go three high on here and then we're going to fill it in all the way around the rest of this edge another three high so basically we're six high total with a gap here and we'll show you why we're having that gap in a minute we are now going to add some ladders to allow the zombies to come into the pit so they're going to come up the middle here and we're going to add the ladders on the middle two rows or columns so let's change this to a ladder and we'll stick it, like I said, just straight up these middle two columns here. So that's going to allow the zombies into the pit. They're going to fall down here and to prevent the zombies from just randomly standing around and bashing everything when they fall in, we're going to now add a ladder to the inside up those same two middle columns. Okay, just had to fix the weather there for a minute. Right, so here we are. Here's our basic pit. Now we're gonna add our platform where we're gonna be standing while the zombies are gonna to try to reach us. And in trying to reach us, they're gonna fall into the pit. So we are gonna be standing this side. So let's get a platform going here. Now what we're gonna be doing to begin with is using plates. You don't have to use the plates here. You can just use regular blocks, but I like how the plates allow us to have that kind of floating effect. Okay, that's good. Now we can invert the orientation of this with the advanced uh, rotation and have it like that. So this is still two blocks on top of each other, offering all of the structural support that two regular cube blocks would provide but doing it this way means that um, the zombies aren't as likely to be bashing on the uh, on the blocks themselves because they'll basically just go under the blocks. Now, I'm not sure how the road is, uh, you know, when it's sinking down like this, I'm not sure if that's going to affect it, but I don't suppose it really matters at this point. So we've done that. Let's add a few support poles or blocks up Now we could just use blocks to completely fill this all in. I mean, actually, let's just have blocks going around the outside edge like this. But I actually quite like the idea of having bars somewhere in your floor so that you can shoot through to any zombies who are maybe getting stuck underneath. So yeah, I'll just, I'll fill this out and I'll add some bars in somewhere, you know, like in a couple of places along the way. Okay, so there we go, that's our fighting platform. Doesn't need to be as big as this. I've actually made it a bit bigger than uh, than I planned, actually. So um, 
yeah, if you're a bit tight on resources, it doesn't have to be this large. Let's go back to the regular blocks and give ourselves a bit of protection. So a couple of uh, a couple of blocks high, we can add a wall around the outside edge, and that will protect us from any zombies that are spitting at us from a distance. And then we can add a roof on top to protect us from the birds. Now before I completely fill this roof in, because I'm not quite sure, it should be fine, but I'm not quite sure if the stability is going to hold up if I put the roof in before I do the next bit that I need to do. So let's get the key part of this pit base up and running now, and that is using this sneaky little centre pole here, or this centre pillar, 0.025 metres middle. What we're going to do is orient it over here we're going to create like a tightrope situation just like my previous video last week which just had like a one really long one of these and that was the entire base and we're gonna basically bring that from there all the way across hopefully we can go across okay yeah it's not going to collapse if we join it that side so we can do it one tightrope there and another one as a bit of a backup and just to thin the herd a little bit And then the way that we're going to just add one last line of protection, one last line of defense, in case the zombies actually do make it across the tight ropes, we can add a couple of hatches here. So next we're gonna use this corner oriented pole and we'll rotate it so that it's kind of in the middle orientation here. And this forms well, this has two purposes really. One, to stop us falling off if we get too close to the edge, but also if any zombies get here, they're gonna you know, start bashing here. It just prevents them being able to step across diagonally and reach us. So with that in place, we'll just add another row across here. So again, they're kind of, they look like they're floating, but really, you know, if you look at where the blocks actually are sitting, yeah, they're technically on top of each other so these blocks here are fully supported by the ones beneath them and which means that when we come back to our bars to finish the roof and let's just match the orientation or copy the rotation yeah so these now even though they look like they're floating they're sitting on top of these bars at the bottom of these poles so let's just fill the roof in And there we are with the roof. So again, pretty cool floating effect. One final thing that we need to do to uh, to just make this tightrope an extra obstacle and that's going to keep the zombies in the uh, in the pit, and that is using the bars. We are going to add. Hang on, just like this. So every two blocks, you know, we'll, we'll replace one of these bars, and then we'll have a gap, and then we'll. Place another one here, gap, place another one, is that, yeah, okay. And then we'll have one more, have another one there. So same thing this side. And what this is gonna do, this is kind of the magic source really. Um, forcing the zombies to jump over these individual blocks and then land on that tightrope is just gonna end up sending them into the pit for the most part. And when they're in the pit, the only way to reach us is to climb the ladder and then go around the merry-go-round again. So with that said, let's uh, let's have a little test of the pathing. Let's change my camera so we can come over here and actually see from a distance what's gonna happen. So let's add a few zombies in. Shoot. And they should all just start filtering around to the ladder pretty nicely. And they are. Oh, look at that. <laughs> There's a couple in the pit already. Actually, not none of them have made it over the second or third hurdle yet. Now they are, you know, there are a couple that are just sort of lingering around, starting to bash on things uh, down in the pit. But, you know, this isn't an AFK base. You know, you're going to have to do something. Uh, so, you know, you can quite happily sit around here. 
picking off the ones that you want to pick off, or preferably you can just chuck your pipe bombs down for maximum giggles. And uh, yeah, just in case you're watching this and you're not aware, if you chuck a whole bunch down before igniting the first one, you can cause a pretty big explosion. Like that. <laughs> and there they go. So, I'm going to uh, sort out some ammo for myself and get myself a bunch of pipe bombs and grenades and whatnot. And we can run this through a horde. And we've got one brave soul who's made it all the way across, but check this out. As he starts to bash on here, he's going to move to the side and fall off pretty much instantly. Alright, let's, let's ignite this lot and they should all go up like a fucking Christmas tree. So I will admit this base as I built it is a bit resource intensive. So if you want to see how to make the most of this whole tightrope concept on something that requires much less resources to build, then take a look at this next video that's on the screen right now.